Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video we are going to learn how you can make a simple snake game using python. To do this uh, game first we need to import the turtle module and the turtle module is a graphical library which will help us to create this game. Now the next module I am going to import it will be the random library and uh, we will see later why we need this and the third module i'm going to import will be the time library so import time now we need a screen to play the game right so let me add a comment here called screen and we'll call this screen as wn which refers to the window and now we will assign this to turtle dot screen and this is the screen class so the wn or window is now an object of the screen class so every screen should have a title so this window should have a title and the title will be like snake game every screen should have a color so the color of this window will be uh, actually this should be BG which refers to the background color and I'll set it as black next thing we need is the size which refers to the width and the height of the window so this will be window dot setup and we will set the width as 600 and the height as 600 the next thing we need is window.tracer and this is for updating our animation and the next thing we need is window.main loop and this will help us to keep the window turned on okay so let me save this and let me check if it's working okay so we can see there is a window right here now I will just close this and move on to the next part. If you are wondering which OS and text editor I am working on, this is Linux Mint and I just customized this to look like a little bit of Win, uh, Ubuntu. And uh, the current editor I am working on is Gini Text Editor. So now I will just focus on the next parts uh, of the game and the next parts are going to be the head of the snake and the foot. So let's create a new turtle object and I will call this as head. So I'll just add a comment here and this is head. And I'll write the variable name as head and this will be assigned to turtle dot turtle class. And now we'll add the attributes to this head. So head dot let me set it as speed. And this is the speed of the animation not the speed of the object head dot shape which will refer to the shape of the head and the shape of the head is going to be the square next thing we need the color for the shape so head dot color will be white and we will also need something called shape size so it will help us to create the stretch width and the stretch length so I'll just change this to stretch length and this will be assigned to 1 next thing we need to add is head dot pen up so we won't be able to see the drawings that head is making and we also need to assign a position for the head so we'll use the go to method and I will just set the X position as minus 250 and Y position as minus 250. Remember friends the window is divided by 600 and 600. So the half of it will be like 290 and 290 on both left and right side and 290 minus and 290 on up and down side. So as we are making objects in our program we have to also update our screen so I will just call window dot update and this will help us to update our screen so let me save the file and if I run the program now you can see there is a object right here 
and this is exactly where I wanted it to be but I don't like this color I'm just going to change it so I'm going to change this to yellow and now if I save and run this file you can see that this object's color is currently now yellow okay so now we have to add the food as well I'm a bit of lazy person so I'll just copy this lines and let me paste this here so I'll just call this as the food for our head and I'll just change every head to food I think copying would be much better okay so this is food this head changes to food food dot shape size food dot pen up food dot go to and we are going to make a lot of changes here so the first thing I will change here is the shape of the food so it won't be square it will be actually a circle the next thing we should uh, change uh, the color of the food I think uh, the color of the food should be red the shape size it actually depends how much size you want but I like the 0.9 as the best stretch width and 0.9 as the best stretch length for the food next we have the food dot painter which is good and now I want the position of the food to be at the center of our screen so the X position will be 0 and Y position will be 0 and for that reason we will be able to see the food at the center of our screen so let me save the file and now if I run the file you can see that there is a red dot at the center of our screen which is the food okay so we are successful in adding two objects in our screen the next task is to move this snake and uh, to collide this snake with the food so let me close this file uh, window first and now I will create a function here called move before adding something to this function I'm going to add another attribute to our head which will be uh, setting the direction for our head so by default I will set the direction of our head to be stop and now we will add some condition to our move function okay so if head dot direction is equal to down which refers to the down of the screen we will first get the y coordinates of our head so y coordinates and then we will set the position of the head so set y and it will be added to plus 20 actually minus 20 because you are going down so it will be minus 20 and when you are going up it will be plus 20 so I'll just copy this and this this time we will use this if the snake is trying to go up okay so I'll just change this to up we'll get the y coordinates and then we will add plus 20 okay now we will check the left and right so this will be equal equal to left and we will check here the x coordinates of the head so head dot x coordinates and set the x position by left so this will be x minus 20 and I will just copy this for the right position as well so if head dot direction is right then set the x position as plus 20 and that's how you can move your snake but we need to add this function to our uh, main game loop and then we will need some event listener to handle this uh, function so to create a main loop i will just create here a variable called run and I will assign it to true now I will create here a while loop and this will be our game loop so game loop so while 
uh, run I'll just call here the move function first and then I will also add this update function at the beneath of my move function now if I call the, uh, run this application you won't be able to see anything here I mean you won't be able to see the snake being moved so what can we do here let me close this file remember the direction of the head by default is stop so now if I change the direction to down you will see it going down so if I run the file you can't see here anything right now and the reason is that that head moved so fast it seems like it disappeared so now I will just change it back to stop if it is down and if we add something here after the movement which is time.delay and the delay I will set here as 0.01 seconds and now you will be able to see this square being moved ok so there is something problem here oh I see the function is problem this time dot sleep and now if I run the file you will be able to see the square being moved so the square moved and now we have to create controls over the square and we have to add some event listener to control the square ok so first thing I will do here is create some functions that will help us to control the square so let's create the first function to up which refers if we want to go up so head dot direction will change from stop to up and I'll just copy this because there will be three more functions like this and all we need to do is to change the name of our function and the direction of our head so if it is to down then it will be down if it is to left the direction would change to left if the direction is to right the direction will be changed to right and the next things we need to do is create event listener so event listener okay I don't remember the spelling event listener so it will be window dot listen and now we will assign some key events so if window dot on key press and first thing we will assign first thing we will pass here in the parenthesis will be the name of the function so to up and separated by comma and now we will assign the key so if we press the up arrow key it will be to up direction and now I will just copy this and paste three more times here and we will change the name of this function and as well as the key for this so if it is to left this will be changed to left and if it is to right then this will be changed to right here ok so now let me save this and what this is actually doing here so whenever I press any kind of arrow key it will change the direction of that square and based on that direction the square will be able to change its coordination ok so now if I run this nothing seems to be happen maybe there is an error let me see what happened here ok there is a call invalid syntax at line 35 I don't know what happened here let me check for a moment here first so it says uh, def at line oh I see the 
parenthesis has gone here so let me save this and uh, if I run this as you can see if I click the right button it go right if I click the left button it will go left if I click the up arrow it will go up if I click the down arrow it will go down so it's working very fine like a snake now let me close this so we are on the half of the way of creating our game the next functionality we need is to collide the head of the uh, snake with the foot and uh, we have to create a uh, ways uh, that will be able to add some body parts to the snake whenever the snake is able to hit the ball or the circle or the foot whatever you can say so now what we will do here is uh, we will create a collide function or maybe let's uh, create a main function that will that we can say as play function so def play and the first thing we will check here is the collision of the head the distance of the foot actually uh, there is a built-in method uh, in turtle that checks the distance between two objects so I'll add here if head dot distance distance is and we'll pass the object here in the parenthesis in with which this is trying to compare itself so it will be food if the distance with the food is less than 20 which means that if this crosses or it is between uh, that uh, some space where it is less than 20 then uh, this collision will happen and we will able to we will be able to move the food so uh, let's uh, see what can we do here uh, let's add food food dot go to first and we'll use this to move the food somewhere at the screen now I will use here the random function uh, to get some random number random dot random which will help me to generate random numbers now if you remember guys our screen is divided into 600 by 600 but if we calculate the half of it then there will be minus 290 on left min, uh, plus 290 on right minus 290 on up and plus 290 on down actually on up plus 290 and minus 290 on down this is some sometimes this is very confusing because if you are coming from pi game sometimes this is a little bit odd to you so uh, the x axis will be minus 290 so i'll just set it as minus 290 and separated by comma and this will be plus 290 so it will calculate or generate a number between minus 290 to plus 290 and this will be for our x position the next uh, we need uh, the same thing to generate number for our uh, y position okay so whenever the head or the head of the snake is hitting the food this food will go to somewhere uh, at the screen so let me show it to you and uh, this will be very much clear to you so the first thing i'm going to do here is i will just call this function let me copy the name of the function so it will be able to help us so for, i'm going to add here the play function oh, sorry something went wrong so play and let me save it now i'm going to run the file here and now if i come closer to the food as you can see the food is uh, running uh, at different places of the screen I'm really very bad at playing games okay last time okay so our collision of the snake with the food was successful the next thing we need to do is to prevent the snake going out of the screen and the way we can do that is to add some mode condition in our play function so 
we have to check if head or the head of the snake x coordination is greater than plus 290 or head x coordination is less than minus 290 or head dot y coordination is greater than plus 290 or head dot y coordination is less than minus 290 if anything happens like this then we need to set the head somewhere at our screen and it will be at the center of our screen so we will pass 0 for the x and 0 for the y and before even doing that I will just add here the time dot sleep function and I will also change the direction of our head so it will uh, give some time to player for taking breath uh, sorry about that uh, stop yeah so let me save it and if I run the file now whenever I am hitting the ball okay something uh, as you can see uh, this square uh, came right back into the center of our screen so it's working as you can see here now let me close here okay so the collision of the head of the snake is working with the wall and is also working with the foot the next few things we need to check if it is able to generate new parts for its body and to do that first we have to create an empty list here and this the name of this list is going to be segments segments and this will be an empty list actually so whenever the ball uh, I mean whenever the snake is hitting the ball it should generate a new segment so I think I'll add here a new turtle object so this will be new segment and this will be assigned to turtle dot turtle the color of this new segment will be white the speed of this new segment will be zero new segment shape would be square new segment uh, shape size will be equal to the shape size of our head so I'll add here stretch underscore width equals 1 comma stretch I'll change this to length stretch length will be equal to 1 and new underscore segment will also have a pen of function oops pen up and uh, we will add this new segment in our segments list so segment segments dot append and add new segment okay so it will be able to add new segment and let's set the position of the segment so new segment dot go to 0 comma 0 because I want to see what is actually going here so let me run the file and now if I hit the ball or the food 
okay so something went wrong here let me see what is wrong here shape size unexpected keyword argument oh i see uh, this is typo error i'm really sorry guys this is a typo error here this should be stretch not stretch so stretch length and stretch width and if i run the file let me check so you can see there is a white square at the center of the screen uh, I don't know what actually happened here something must have been wrong so anyway we are uh, we can understand that uh, this uh, adding new segment in our list is actually working here so the next thing we need to do is to create a for loop that will be able to help us to add that segment uh, to the near of our head and uh, so I'll just remove this part here new segment dot go to I'll remove it completely I'll add here new for loop so for and we'll use here range function for i in range and we'll check the length here of the segment list segments minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 so this is actually referring that this loop will go through in reverse order this length of segments minus 1 is actually trying to tell us see if the length of the list is 9 and if I minus it with 1 then there uh, leaves total 8 numbers so this loop will go through first 8 to 0 and that's how the reversing actually works and now the thing we have to do is to get the x coordination and the y coordination of, uh, of an object inside the segments list and we will try to move that object into the position of its predecessor okay so i'll try here to write x coordination so this refers to the segments segments i minus one dot get the x coordination of that turtle and i'll just copy here because the next thing we will need is the y coordination okay so y will be assigned to segments i minus one y coordination so we are getting the x and the y coordination of the predecessor and we will try to move our uh, current turtle into its predecessor position so we will try to write here yes, segments segments i dot go to at the position of x and y the next thing we will do here is to move the first element in the list uh, of the list into the position of the head so we'll try to check this from an if condition if the length of segments if the length of the segments is greater than zero then get the x coordination of the head first so x coordination and then get the y coordination of the head then we'll try to move the zero index segment to the position of x and y okay so that should pretty much do it let me save it here and now if i run the function actually the file okay so it's creating but it's not generated okay so there should be some fault here let me just close this first okay 
so what is the current problem here let me check it guys I hope that you are not getting bored here so this is checking the length of the segments then moving that into the x and y position getting the head coordination and it is going to the coordination for segment and segments Behind the reason is because this is inside our if condition and we have to get this out of our if condition. So I'll just remove the tabs here first. Okay. So now let me save the file and now if I run this, it should work. Okay. So it's working. As you can see, this, this snake is adding parts to its body okay now let me show you here something if this snake is hitting the wall is right now at the center and whenever I am trying to run this snake on the screen it comes out like as it was before but we don't want to do that we want the snake to start from the beginning and so we have to create a few more conditions and actually some for loops here so if this uh, head or the snake of the head is touching the wall then we have to create this uh, function so we can write here for segment in segments so it is referring to the list segments and I have to remove this for segment in segments segment dot go to 1000 at x position and 1000 at y position so this will remove that segment from our screen and we will also write here segments segments dot clear ok so let me save this here and now if I run the file yep we have first we have second Okay, let's cut this one too. Okay, we have so many body parts right now. So we can just hit the wall. And it hit the wall. So now if I try to run the snake, you can see there are no body parts left. Because it cleared them totally. Okay. So most of the functionality has been done to our snake and now I'll take a breath to check what has been left okay I think the only thing we need to do is to check if the if the head is colliding with the body itself and to do that I will just create another for loop here after the move function in my loop so we'll write here for segment in segments if segment distance to head is less than 20 and that's how we'll check the collision of the head of the snake with the segment if it is touching we want the head to go back to the center position so I'll write here first time dot sleep then set the head position 
टू जिरो कमा जिरो एंड हेड डॉट डिरेक्शन उल बी इक्वल टू स्टॉप सो उल गेट सम ब्रीदिंग टाइम एंड वी विल यूज दोज वाइल दोज फॉर लुप्स दैट वी हैड यूज सो फॉर सेगमेंट in segments segment dot go to 1000 at sorry 1000 at x position and 1000 at y position and we want this list to be clear segments dot clear okay so let me save this and now i'll try to run this file and we will check if it is resetting the game when the snake head touches the body so we'll have to wait for some time when the body of the snake grows we will try to hit it okay all right <laughs> it's really looking like an actual snake game and this is this is the reason why programming is so much fun that you are able to build anything that you want okay i think the length of the snake has grown a lot now we will try to hit the head of the snake with the body oops oh shit i'm very sorry guys i'll try to go a little bit fast here to check if this is working oops okay so if you haven't noticed when i tried to hit the down arrow key on my keyboard the head itself tried to go to down but it accidentally touched the part of its body itself and that is the reason why the head actually goes back to the center of the screen okay so now you can see uh, there are no parts left here but if i try to oh, so i'm really bad at playing games be a little bit patient with me guys i'm trying to see if that collision is actually working here i'm 100% sure that collision is working so oh this is real oh shit <laughs> okay anyway just leave it for now and uh, so as far as we can see the 90% of the work has been done and there are few things we need to do uh in order to make this snake game fulfill and as i have told you that whenever i am trying uh to move the head of the snake in the direction where the body parts are located is actually hitting those body parts and this is the reason why it resetted itself to at the center of the screen what we will uh, have to do is to do some changes at the functions of the events so at the function to up we can see the direction is up and that is the reason why we are going to use an if condition to prevent the if the user is trying to go to down and uh, is trying to go to up but if it is not 
at the down position okay so if uh, head dot direction is not equal to down position and this is the only way when the head will be able to move at the up direction so i'll just copy this because the rest of the codes are going to be like this we'll just pass the first uh, the opposite value and then the then the positive value so the if this direction which is referring to down function so if this is referring to down which means that if the head direction is not equal to up then you uh, this uh, head will be able to go to down position okay so let us change this as well and i will just change here as well okay so if this is left which means if the head direction is not equal to right then head direction will be able to change itself to left okay and to right which means that if head direction is not equal to left then it will be able to change its direction to right that is how we can prevent the head of the snake from touching its body uh, at, in the opposite direction so anyway the next uh, thing we have to do is to create a score sheet and that is really very easy to do we have to create a new turtle object and uh, before that we'll just create a new uh, score variable so score will be equal to 0 and we'll create a new pen object here okay so I'll add a new pen object so pen and this will be a turtle object so pen equals turtle dot turtle this pen object should have a speed This pin object doesn't have a side, I mean a shape, but this pin object has a color which will be white. This pin object will be able to write, but we have to use the pen up which will help us to remove any kind of lines and we will also try to hide the turtle so it will be hidden now we'll use the pen dot write function and the first thing will be the string we are trying to write here so i'll pass the score and i will use here an f string so f string and it will show us the score the next thing we have to do here is the alignment of the text so I'll pass the alignment as center the next thing we have to add is the font so the font will be here as sans serif is like totally uh, 20 and this will be normal okay maybe there are something uh, I'm missing here but we can check that later I think this will work the next thing we'll have to do is to set the position of the pen so pen dot go to So we'll set the position here as at minus two minus two sixty and uh, this will be at the this will be at the upper position. So let me save this here. This will be at the upper position. So let us check if this is working. 
there are some errors here might be let me check what is the error here testing expression not allowed here I don't know why it is not allowed something's not right so I think I'll just delete this but there is another way we can add something here which is called the format and I'll just pass the score here oh I, I see what actually happened here if I can if I want to pass the f string then I also have to write the name of the variable here first okay now if I try to run the file okay so something not worked here uh, which it says here cell dot go to argument uh, after asterisk must be an iterable which is line number 175 okay so I think uh, the position uh, the problem is that I didn't add the comma here and as you can see that we make a lot of mistakes and sometimes those even small mistakes can create a lot of pain for us so you should never be afraid of errors you should have a mindset to handle those errors so now if I run the file and you can see it's working and whenever I'm hitting the ball uh, the score stays still because we are not updating it right and uh, it is currently at the center of the screen which is uh, I'm not liking really and so what I will do here I'll just close this and I'll try to little bit uh, tinkering with the position so if this is minus 260 this to minus 260 and this will be to 260 plus position at the y coordinates uh, I don't know why it didn't work here maybe we need to do something here so pin dot 260 and 260 didn't i actually save the file here first so it is already saved so why it is not showing the pen okay maybe this is the reason is the font is too much let's change this to 16 and i'll change the font name to helvetica Uh, let's change the alignment to left and this should work because minus 250 why not I just write here 250 and 250 so if I run the file yeah it's kind of working but it's not working to my expectations so what I will do here guys I'll just pause for a moment and I'll come back okay so I get it here the the problem is before we set the position before actually before the, the thing we have to do even before we set the position we have to cut the text out first and after we have set the position then we can write uh, what we want and uh, I think I'm just going to change this from uh, minus 250 to 190 and the X coordination will be 250 pixel so let me save this and now I will try to run this file okay as you can see the score is right at the top of the screen okay so it is currently static means there are no changes coming at the score so we have to make some updates to our score so how should we update our score we have to think logically when the snake is able to successfully eat the food then our score will be increased right so let's go 
to the logic where it tried to hit the foot so if head dot distance uh, compared to foot is less than 20 then foot will go to a random place and we will increase the score plus 1 so the score will be updated and new segment will be generated and it will be appended to the segments list but we also want to update our score so what I will do here is I will just copy these two things first go back to that function here and now the first thing I will do is pen dot clear and it will help us to clear anything or any kind of written text on the screen so now after that I'll just add here these two lines so at the same position it will be able to write the new score so let me save this and now if I run this and whenever I am hitting uh, okay some problem occurred here which is a local variable score reference before assignment okay so we can actually refer the score as the global variable and so the way we can do that is write the global keyword and then refer the score so it should not be a problem now and now you can see the score is getting updated okay you know what I don't like the font we are using here and I don't really like the position so I'm going to make some changes here so by default this will be Korea 16 pixel this is okay I'll just change the position to minus 250 which means that I want this text to be written at the corner so when the ball uh, I mean when the snake is hitting the circle uh, the position will be minus 250 by 250 and uh, the font will be back to Korea let's say this uh -huh. yeah and now let me run this here first okay we can see this all right all right so this finally is really looking like an actual game okay so that was all for today i hope you really like this tutorial and if you want more tutorial like this then please please i'm begging you to subscribe the channel because your subscription and your likes and comments will actually help me to inspire and i think uh, creating these kinds of small projects are actually very beneficial for people who are starting learning to code so that's all for today guys and uh, what should i say tada and bye bye see you in the next video